All right, this is a Thor News warning. We were given a sweet red herring. Welcome to another edition of Grand Theft Crisis. Oh, okay, so it's like a moon. It's like a fake ass hollow moon. Whoa, okay. Now I'm loving the story. We got we got science to admit we got a fake ass hollow moon that's about to smash into Earth on November 13th. This is a Thor News presentation. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to forgive me. I went to California. I broke my video camera. And then my computer broke. And now I'm just trying to make do. So a lot of my videos for the next few days aren't going to have a lot of bells and whistles. I hope you can bear with me. But once I got my head screwed back on straight, I was looking at this going, WTF? No, seriously. It's called Alien Space Junk UFO WT1190. F, and it's going to crash into Earth on the third Friday of the 13th of the year. What does that mean? I really have no idea. Like, what the hell, man? So I guess let's learn together. Though, since I've been out of the loop for a few days, rising the first time, you've heard about this. But well, it seems pretty weird. Okay, so we're going to kick on over to heavy.com. And this is news. What is WT1190F? Question mark, colon, five fast facts you need to know. And you need to know them right now. But uh, Stephanie Doobie De Wilson. That's a de weird name. Okay. There's Earth. Oh, oh, shiny and blue. Semi flat or whatever. WT 1190F is hurtling towards Earth, and no one is sure exactly what it is. You should ask Phil Plate. He knows a little bit about everything. Although, if you want to be told the answers to all things in a more smug fashion, you should ask Bill Nye. But he doesn't talk to little people. So, forget about it. UTF is hurtling towards Earth, expected to reach us by November 13th. No one is actually sure what the space object is. Some speculate that it's man-made and not an asteroid because it appears to be hollow. What do you mean it appears to be hollow? But exactly where the strange object came from is not known yet. Now here's what you need to know. Number one, WT-1190F has a trajectory that looks suspiciously artificial. Woohoo, three photographs. I'm so impressed. It gives like an Atari 3600 bad name. And what are those two giant dashy colon things at the top and bottom? I do not know. It doesn't help me a lot. Oh, WTF is observed from Hawaii on October 9th by B. Bolin, R. Jedaki, and M. Mitch Ellie. Sweet. WT-1190F is not thought to be an asteroid or any other type of natural object because of its trajectory in highly elliptical orbit. The Scientific American reported, the orbit suggests that the object, which is just one to two meters in length, period, has a low density and may be hollow with a thin shell. It's likely artificial and not natural. Experts agree? What kind of crappy sentence is that? Like, all experts agree on this? And who exactly is an expert of hollow, unidentified space garbage? Other than Bill Nye and Phil Plate, of course. And maybe Mike Brown, who loves it when we say his name, Mike Brown. Okay, but yeah, so all the experts are agreeing on this. It's like climate change. 97% of unidentified space objects that are going to hit Earth experts agree that it's artificial, not natural. Though, they do not mention whether or not reptiles or reptoids have anything to do with it. The reptoids are half cyborg, half reptile, if you didn't know. See, you're learning shit here. So, Max, I just made that up. The object may land near the Indian Ocean. May. The object may land near the Indian Ocean on November 13th, or it may burn up when it enters the atmosphere. Or it may transform from a piece of space junk into like a humanoid robot, like a Transformers, right? I mean, it's possible. It's trying to be funny. Sometimes I fail. I know, man. Give me a second. I'll punch myself in the face. Metaphorically. The object orbits the Earth every three weeks in a very irregular, concentric orbit, the European Space Agency reported. Oh, okay. So it's like a moon. It's like a fake-ass hollow moon? Whoa. Okay. Now I'm loving the story. We got science to admit we got a fake ass hollow moon that's about to smash into Earth on November 13th. Experts are predicting that it will re enter the atmosphere on November 13th. But hey, dude, like, we don't know that it necessarily came from Earth. You can't just assume it's from Earth things if you don't know what it is. And fall into the Indian Ocean off the southern coast of Sri Lanka. Most of it will burn up in the atmosphere. You don't even know what it is. I mean, if it's supposed to go to outer space, maybe it's made to withstand the heat of re entry. But it'll provide a spectacular show Ooh. and brief brightening of our sky in the middle of the day. I hope it's not atomic. We put a bunch of atomic shit up there. The size should be too small to pose any risk to people in the area. Although, Bill Gray, astronomy software developer, said that he wouldn't necessarily want to be fishing right under it. According to the Scientific American? What? According to the Scientific American, 
Bill Gray wouldn't want to be fishing under it when it landed in the ocean. Oh, man, maybe I'm just got jet lag or some shit. That just seemed really weird. This may be a lost piece of space history. It's come back to haunt us, an astrophysicist said. Yeah, there's a bunch of space shit all around planet Earth, over 15,000 pieces. Some, as I mentioned, nuclear and atomic. And so the same scientists that are going to save us from climate change will probably one day save us from all the junk that they put up in our low Earth orbit, which right now and for the last four decades is pretty much the only place we've gone to. Humans, that is, not the robots. Robots go everywhere. Asterisk, that is assuming that Van Allen belts aren't really that big of a deal, like your face. According to the European Space Agency, there are 8,500 objects larger than 10 centimeters orbiting the Earth, and 150,000 larger than one centimeter? Oh, well, that's great news. Size is taking great care of the upper atmosphere, and does that stuff affect the weather climate? Probably, maybe. Some experts suggest that WTF might be part of a space rocket, piece of panel shed from a moon mission, or even debris getting back to Apollo. This isn't entirely unheard of, since an object that was orbiting the moon in 2002 was part of the second mission to ever land man on the moon, said Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, told Scientific American that this could very likely be a lost piece of space history returning to haunt us. According to the ESA, 8,500 objects larger than 10 centimeters orbit the Earth, along with 150,000 objects larger than 1 centimeter. I already read all that, man. People don't like it when I repeat information. It's not that important. What are you doing to me? And if this does hurt anybody, you have science to thank for it. Number four, the object was first discovered in 2013 and then rediscovered in October. A falling star crosses the night sky in Germany. The WTF object may light up the day sky when it enters the atmosphere. Ooh, day sky fireworks shows are rare. The object was first discovered by the Catalina Sky Survey in 2013. The European Space Agency reported the same team has observed it several times since and was keeping track of it. Bill Gray, a poster in the Asteroid and Comet Researcher Yahoo group, wrote that the area and mass of the object was almost exactly the same as Discover and Change T's and Three's boosters. All right, that information didn't help much. I don't think I needed to know that. Five others think the object may have more mysterious origins. And I, that just means number five, not that only five others think it may have more mysterious origins. Go to YouTube, I'm sure the number's gonna be way higher. John Hattenbach said, not sufficient to cause threat, but show be spectacular. Wait, that doesn't have anything to do about mysterious origins. Not everyone is convinced that WT-1190F is just a man-made piece of space junk. Some conspiracy theorists are going wild over the idea the object is crashing into Earth on superstitious date on Friday the 13th. One theorist said on YouTube that this could be the mythical millstone that God cast into the sea, Express reported. However, we'll likely never know. It's predicted the object might burn up completely when it enters the atmosphere. Yeah, well, I doubt that it's um, the giant asteroid that's supposed to crash into the ocean because this, this it's like one meter, and one meter won't do any damage at all. WT-1190F, alien UFO to crash into Earth in weeks on third Friday the 13th of the year. I don't know what the third Friday the 13th means, man. Like, I don't think that's necessarily that big of a deal. The story came out yesterday, and I just heard about it a little while ago. It's not a catchy name, but a piece of space debris called WT-1190F is on a collision course with Earth. Well, wonderful. How did it get that name, by the way? And it definitely has the WTF in it, so that's kind of cool. It's like professional science has adopted Thor News, and I guess I'm okay with that. You see the oh-so-appropriately titled WT-1190F is expected to hit Earth November 13th, or WTF for short. It's likely a piece of space debris left by man from a previous space mission, maybe even one of the Apollo missions. But since scientists don't know technically what it is, that means it's an unidentified flying object. An important reminder, a UFO is any unidentified flying object. I just said that, not just one of suspected alien or supernatural origins. And that's great, because there's this whole like herd of people who comment on videos without ever actually watching the videos. It's really bizarre. So anytime I put UFO in the title, they're like, it's fake, it's not a UFO. And I'm like, well, dude, no, it is. Nobody can identify it, so it's definitely an unidentified flying object. Like our friend, the Halloween asteroid, TB145, they don't know if it's a comet or an asteroid. So that thing is totally a UFO. You know what? After this video, I'm going to make a video about that. And I'm going to put it in the title that it's a UFO. And people are going to get mad. 
and I'm going to laugh. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, this crazy story that something's going to smash into Earth on November 13th. And we kind of know what it is. Kind of don't. Sweet. WTF 1190F isn't expected to inflict any significant damage to Earth, since much of it will probably burn up in the atmosphere. The remaining portion that does make it to Earth is expected to land in the ocean near Sri Lanka, meaning we may never know exactly what the mysterious debris is. The discovery is helping scientists track objects as they come toward Earth, which could potentially be more which could potentially be more important if a larger projectile should fly into the planet and have a considerably larger impact. Welcome to modern technology where as soon as a thing is a thing, it's on Twitter as a thing with the thing of its name talking sarcastically. Here we have at WT1190F talking about I hear Sri Lanka is nice this time of year. And you know what? If somehow this does cause damage, that thing is an asshole. How would you feel if everyone called you a hollow piece of space junk? Um, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll find out. That's all I get in this story. This comes from the Canadian Journal. My uncle said never trust anything out of Canada. Um, so maybe he's right because has a poorly written article. I don't feel like I know much about that now. So this story is weird and I'm sure we'll follow it again. But I need to get back to the Halloween asteroid because i got a couple more things to say about that one. So, sorry if this one was rusty and kind of crappy. I apologize. I'll get back on it at least by November 3rd. Sweet. God bless everybody. Stay cool. And if there are any other fascinating stories that might have happened in the last four days, go ahead and leave it in the comments section because I've totally been out of the loop. Man, you're great. Peace out. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation.